Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Anna and we're going to have some real fun testing new brushes today. I'm going to do a detailed review of the new Escoda Red Watercolor Travel Set. And this one is hands down my favorite out of the four travel sets that Escoda designed this year because it contains not one, but two of my all-time favorite synthetic sable brushes called Versatil. But really each set contains a wonderful selection of brushes that will suit different creative needs. And as always, I will show you a few tests on precision and water retention, but more importantly, we will look at how these beautiful brushes from the red set actually perform in real painting. So if you love botanical watercolor or birds, landscapes, or even more decorative work like ink or portraits, you can see for yourself if this is a good choice for you. I'd love to hear what you think about the review. I know that many of you have already used some of these brushes, particularly Versito, which exists in the regular non-travel size, gets a lot of love from watercolor artists. So please let me and everyone know what you think in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel and enjoyed the demo, don't forget to subscribe. Before we start, let me quickly recap the reasons why these four Escoda travel sets are worth a look in general, starting with reason number one, and this applies to all Escoda synthetic brushes, it's how close they come in performance to the real sable and squirrel fur. Escoda is one of the finest brush manufacturers in the world and they have done a ton of research and testing to come up with an excellent cruelty-free synthetic alternatives to a traditional brushes made out of real fur. These brushes are built by hand, combining three diameters and three different lengths, achieving a perfect tip and very good water retention. Even if animal cruelty is not your biggest concern, given the price difference between real and synthetic brushes, this is obviously a very welcome option for modern artists. Reason number two is uh, obviously convenience. Escoto travel brushes are excellent for plein air, urban sketching, perfectly compact if you're packing to go on vacation and want to bring your art supplies along. They're constructed in two parts enabling you to put the brush and inside the handle for easy and safe transportation. The case is so compact, it actually fits in my hand. It will definitely fit in your pocket if you're out and about and maybe doing some urban sketching. I also think these metal shells look quite cool. And finally, reason number three, it's worth mentioning again that each set is uniquely curated by a Skoda team in consultation with uh, professional artists to fit different creative needs in terms of the variety of shapes and sizes that they offer. Escoda is a family business producing artist brushes for decorative and fine arts since 1933, and they're known for their high quality standards and very good sense of what artists want and how they work with different brushes. So I personally love this red set, but you will find for sure one that fits your unique needs depending on what type of subject you like to paint and your style. Now let's get to the detailed review of the red set. You can see the blue set review in my video from last week and I will also do black and green sets later this month. So we have a Skoda Versatil pointed round in size 12. It's designed with synthetic Kalinsky fiber. These brushes are really exceptional in terms of water retention and precision and this size 12 in particular will be amazing for large washes which I will show you in a minute. We also have another Versatil. This one is in size 6 which is awesome because you need a good fine brush in your travel set in order to paint any kind of details like hair, tree branches, flower details and so on. They're great for oil, acrylic, watercolor, I often use them for gouache as well. Finally, Perla round pointed brush in size 8 and it's made out of white Torre fiber which is one of the softest and uh, typically used in watercolor. Quite different from Versito as you will see. So let's do a couple of tests, starting with our largest brush, Versatile Round Size 12. You can expect it to hold a large amount of water and pigment compared to an average synthetic sable. You can see it goes on and on, which makes it perfect for large background layers, and I will demonstrate that to you in just a second. It's uh, pretty amazing. Most synthetics can't hold this much water, but what makes it extra special though is precision. For a large brush like this, it does a wonderful job maintaining a really nice tip, so you can do a lot of things with it, just one brush without switching to a smaller size. 
let's look at Perla now and uh, if you've seen my previous review of the blue travel set where I had a Perla in a large size, you know that Perlas don't hold much water. See, it runs out quite quickly, not as uh, amazing as Versatile, but it has some advantages compared to a real squirrel, which is uh, what Perla is meant to replace. What's uh, very obvious is that it has a lot more spring than the squirrel brush, and so practically what this means is if you don't care as much about water retention, but you want a soft brush that will hold the tip so you don't have to reshape it and re-wet it while doing the details as you would with a real squirrel brush, this is actually very nice. The tip is also quite fine which makes it good for detailed work like feathers. Now Versatile in smaller size, as you can see, holds a ton of water even more than a larger size Perla and the main reason why I love it, it's exceptionally precise. You will see just how great it is when um, I use it to paint different things. This is one of my all-time favorite synthetic brushes and uh, I've used it so much for my detailed botanicals and bird paintings. You may have already seen my video where I did a head-to-head -head comparison painting exactly the same subject with this Coda Real Sable and this Versatile. And um, if you haven't, I'll link it in the card above. It's pretty close and I highly recommend it. So let's do real tests and use these three brushes in different types of painting so you can see how they actually perform. I'm going to do a large detailed flower, a bird and some landscape painting. I'll do a portrait and we'll even show you what these brushes can do with watercolor ink to give you an idea of different applications for each brush. Let's start with this large Escoda Versatile. Normally a brush like this performs very well for large washes as I mentioned so you can see that I was easily able to cover the entire area with water and then drop some color. I don't notice a lot of difference compared to my regular sable brush. It's nice that the tip springs back into place, which, which is something my squirrel mop won't do. But let's really put it to the test and paint a background wash that requires some precision on the edges. And this is where the advantages of having a lot of spring and precision in a large brush really come into play. You can see that uh, I was able to finish the entire flower, including all the different petal edges without switching to a smaller size brush. So this is why I love Versatile. By the way, if you want to see a full tutorial of this red rose, I'll link a card above and also leave a link in the video description below. And just for fun, take a look at what you can also do using ink um, when you paint some loose washes with this brush. It's so much fun. Versatile in size 6 also holds a ton of water, but because it's smaller and more precise, it's really my favorite and it's been in heavy rotation since the day I tried it. It's great for painting hair, especially detailed single hair strands and eyelashes, because you get a lot of pigment on it, but it also gives you a lot of control when doing fine lines. As a decorative brush, it works amazing with ink from thin outlines to large full body strokes. You can do an entire ink watercolor using just this brush, start to finish. Obviously the best use for it is for small details like animal fur or flower petals and here you can do both blending and thinner strokes, outlining the texture of a petal. Really, really versatile, powerful brush, this one. I really love it and I think you will too if you get a chance to try it. Highly recommend it. And finally, let's put Perla to the test. As we saw during the performance testing, it doesn't hold much water, so not ideal for painting uh, where you need to cover really large areas um, and do a lot of blending. But it did okay on my flower once I put the main wash with the larger uh, synthetic sable brush. And as I mentioned in the blue set review last week where I tested uh, Perla in size 10, it has a very precise tip that comes back into place easily on its own, unlike a squirrel brush. So I don't have to dip it in the palette every time to straighten the tip because it's so fine and resistant you can do some amazing things. Take a look at how well it works on small feathers. And I was able to blend my colors into larger areas, which wouldn't be possible with a finer brush, but the tip really did an amazing job here. 
and it works well for larger ink strokes and uh, although it doesn't hold much ink and water it's actually quite useful for places when you want to have more control and less pigment and water on your brush um, if you want to have more control over how your ink spreads uh, which would require less water and less ink on your brush so a fairly decent soft squirrel imitation at a very reasonable price with some added benefit of extra spring and precision. In conclusion, I would give Versatile Brushes 5 out of 5 stars and I stand by this rating having tested these and other synthetics on virtually every possible subject. Um, I couldn't be happier with uh, their performance and being able to get this high performing brush at a very good price. It's amazing. Perla, in the context of my style and how I work, is probably three and a half. In my last review, I gave Perla in size 10 a higher rating because I was able to do some negative painting with a larger size Perla, but in a smaller size, it's okay, it's good enough, but not my favorite. Um, and as always, uh, please note that these ratings are purely in the context of my own style and those who know me know that I specialize in highly detailed nature art and I also do quite a bit of uh, commercial decorative work so keep that in mind when you look at how I tested it and the reasons for liking or disliking certain aspects of each brush this video is meant uh, to give you a detailed information but only from one artist's perspective so I encourage you to do more research and uh, test these products yourself these brushes are available in North America and Europe, India and other countries, uh, in North America specifically through Speedball Art Supplies. You can also find them on Jackson's Art online. And you can also purchase these brushes on Amazon or directly from a Skoda website. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this review useful and I'll be back next week with more watercolor tutorials and my review of the green and black Skoda sets which contain some really fun brush shapes. Have a lovely week and I'll see you soon.